This is the plaintiff, Jean Quinn. She says the defendant, her neighbor, helped her out by paying the back taxes on her house, and she thought he was just being a nice guy. But then they had lunch together to talk about working things out, and he made a pass at her. It was like he was saying, have sex with me first, and then we can make a deal. She rebuffed his advances, and next thing she knows, the heartless defendant cleaned out all of her belongings and tossed them in a dumpster. He even got rid of her dog. She's suing for $6,000, the value of her trash stuff. This is the defendant, Mike Wilburn. He says he paid the plaintiff's back taxes with the agreement if she couldn't pay him back, the house would become his. Then, two days after he paid the taxes, the plaintiff up and moved out. The woman just abandoned the place. He doesn't run a storage facility, so he got rid of her garbage. Owe her money for all that junk? Ha <laughs> funny. He's accused of tossing it all to the curb. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $6,000 for back rent, taxes, and outstanding water and electric bills. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant tried helping her with back taxes, but what he really wanted was sex, and when she wouldn't give it to him, he trashed her property and got rid of her dog. Now, the defendant says it was all business. It's the case of two things in life are certain, taxes and sex. Thank you. That You're is Jean Quillen. You are suing your former friend Mike Wilburn for $6,000 that you say you are out in property that he threw out that he had no right to throw out at you, from your home. You are counterclaiming against her the exact same amount, $6,000, because according to you, she owes you all kinds of money for rent, water bills, cleaning, and you are apparently suing for other people's lost time. All right, you folks had some very strange, well, st unusual arrangement. Um, you, you knew each other how? We knew each other, we were neighbors, like for years, the whole time we lived there. I lived there with my uh, ex-fiance now. He lived there a year prior to me moving in. And we became real good friends. We help each other out. We live across the street from each other. You know, we do for him, he does for us. We just became really good friends. And then at some point, the house was in your ex fiance's name. Well, actually, the house was paid off. The house was paid off. And then we got behind in the back taxes because neither one of us were working. He was only working a couple days a week. And we got a little behind in taxes. So, how many years behind? It, it was only one year. It, it went up for auction. What they do in Indiana is in September of 2013, it went up for auction. And then someone put a $100 bid on it. So then from that day that they put that bid on, we have one year to make that, to make that bad taxes up. So it was getting close to that time, which was in September. Well, you guys play it. Wait, you, 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 you know, folks can't rough. figure out between the two of you how yeah. to raise the money to keep the house? Well, All right, we, so well, everybody we were, sits we back, does nothing for a year. Oh, wait, that no, alarm is ticking again. No, that's, we, no, we, I tried. He had a drinking problem, but I was trying. But anyway, we went to Mike for help, bottom line. They made a verbal agreement. Who's they? John and Mike. Your, your ex-fiance and he made yes, an agreement. That he would loan us the 3800 to pay the taxes, and then we would pay him, John would pay him $300 a month until the 3800 was paid off, and then I signed the house over to him while that was going on, and then when we got it paid off, he would sign it back over to us. Wow, that's a risky move. It is very risky. How'd that work out? Not so well, Your okay, Honor. Okay, so what happened? Not so well. So what happened was... My ex fiance got really heavy into the vodka drinking, and it was bad. There was days that I'd left for a couple days and, you know, got away from, you know, whatever. Well, on November 28th, he just, Mike, it, it warned him because he hadn't paid him for two months. So that third month, Mike told him, at the end of the second month, if you don't come up with kind of any kind of payment, John, you haven't paid me since I paid it and everything, he's like, you gotta go. You know, which I totally respect him for that. I would do the same thing as, you know. And so John just, November 28th, just got up and left and got into treatment. So, so everybody's just really in agreement that it's his house now. Yes. Were you ever supposed to pay rent or no? He never asked me to, no. Okay, and how long were you there? I was there. After, I'm sorry, after your ex left, how long were you there? I was there, I moved up to Wisconsin January 17th. 
So you were there from when to when? When did your ex leave? November? No, so uh, November 28th. So basically it was a on month a Friday. He left. All right. So a month later, by the way, do you have you talked to your ex? How is he? He's doing great. He's got oh, six good. months clean time. No alcohol. He's doing very good. Is He's he still at the center? No, he just he just moved and got his own place. Do you have issues too? No, no, ma'am. I have no issues. I just feel like Mike, if Mike wanted me out, all he had to do is say, Jeannie, I'm having a dumpster put in a driveway on this date. This is a date you got to come get your stuff. I would head it all out of there. And according to you, you did? Yep. When did you do that? Uh, it was in December. Let me look. The day I got the dumpster, I texted her. I said, Jeannie, you need to get that stuff out. No, you they, said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because they walked off and left a dog inside the house. Who's they? Her and John. Okay. Did they walk off together, or is it the no, way she says that she John, was there for some time? She was already moved out. John was gone. He left uh, November the 27th. When did she move out? She left a day, a couple days right after I went down and paid it. Well, I don't know when that is. That was Funny, uh, I can't September remember. the 16th I went down there and paid it. September? Yeah. So according to you, she left before John? Yeah, she left way before him. She right says out. that she might spend a few days out because he was drinking so heavily, but that she would always yeah. come back. You're She'd saying come, that's not she true? She would come back. She wouldn't stay there, but she would come back and see him, but, and that was, you know, there was no stay in there. Okay, when he leaves, are you under the impression the place is vacant? Yeah, because he left the door wide open and everything. So this property went into your name on what date? Uh, September, September? 16th. All right, did she have a problem? <laughs> she drunk a lot and they smoke. I don't drink, Your Honor. I don't drink at all. I who's that lady? Who's that's my sister. She helped me clean the house I and her, clean what it looked like inside when we. You met. had an affidavit you wanted to show yeah, me. Yeah, I from got an affidavit from her, her friend. Shane. <laughs> who did you think it was? I don't know. I'm not sure who it's from. Who did you think it was? Shane. No. Okay. It's from Deborah. I know Deborah. Oh, okay, so there's two people who would say something bad. All right, De Deborah says that she stayed with you in the last year, uh, that you and your ex lived there. There She's was no running there. water, and the electric was hooked up through an extension cord. All of the furniture was <laughs> given to them. She had nothing of value except for pictures of her daughter. She it's told me herself she was taking Mike to court and get all she could get out of him. According to you, he has a different motive for dumping your stuff. Oh, yeah. Tell me yes. about that. Yeah. He, he's made a pass advances at me, uh, wanting me to go down to his place down south, he said, and da -da -da. And it was like the first time that he made a, a, a really sexual advance. And I told him, Mike, you know, I, I don't look at you like that. I've never looked, I've always looked at you as my neighbor. Okay? That was on a Wednesday, and how I remember that, because that Saturday was a Saturday all my stuff went in a dumpster. Two days later, soon as he knew that that was not going to happen. Would you like to respond to that? Yeah, that ain't true, Your Honor. Ain't what true. stuff did you dump? Oh, it, what was in there wasn't worth nothing. Okay, but <laughs> you see, that's not up to you to decide. Mm -hmm. Why, how much, was, just listen to me. How much notice did you give her to give her a chance to get her stuff out before you dumped it? Uh, from the 27th of November to uh, 12th. Well, how from the 27th? When did you give her notice on the 27th? Because I went there November the 1st, and I told John, I said, John, you ain't paid me nothing in two months now. This is November the 1st. You've got to pay me something. Oh, I will pay you something. We'll pay you something. Well, November 27th came. He right. just, he's got up and left. And then, uh, so I, nobody come around fed the dog or anything. And Well, then, did you feed the dog? Yeah, the dog I, live I, for I, another bought, month? I bought the dog food and everything for it. And watered it because she didn't have no running water over. I That's had to take true. water over to the dog till I found him some place to go. Did you get you? You found the dog a home? Yeah. Did you tell her you were going to find her dog a home? Yeah, I, I, text hey, I text John. I text John because John. I told John. Do you I, have your phone to show me the text that you sent to them? Yeah. To John. John wasn't there. <laughs> John was gone. Yeah, he says you were gone too. I was there when John left. It was a Friday night. I was there. Mm -hmm. Do you have any proof of what the value is of any of the items? I made a list. They, I, they told me to make a list. Do you have any of proof of the value of I any do, of I, all, all my, like All my pictures of my stuff that was in there, everything was thrown out. Did you throw out pictures? Pictures. I got, no. Did no, you she throw took, out pictures? The day she, she come there one day and got uh, the TVs, and I helped them set them in the back of a truck. And then my sister here helped carry a bunch of boxes out to the truck, and she That's went in the bedroom there and got bags. Come dark. on up. You helped her move some stuff out? 
Yes, ma'am, I did. When uh, was that? She came over there with uh, some elderly guy in a blue pickup truck, and she, Mike carried out the TV that she wanted, and she got him loaded. There were some boxes of pictures and stuff. We, me and my sister, hauled them boxes and set them on the back end of this truck. Did that happen? She took the, yes, ma'am, okay. did. Yes or no? Yes. There was two boxes, but all okay, my bedroom stuff, okay. everything else was gone. But why don't you just take your, oh, oh according to her, stuff is already gone It was that gone. My whole, that whole no. box Had was cleared out. Had the been filled at that point? No. no. She come down, she come down there all dressed up like she wasn't going to do no work. That's not true either. Wouldn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is not true. Mm. Your dog's name was Doobie? Dobie. It was a min pen. <laughs> That was my dog. I, I told not. her today, on December 12th, he texted her ex, I told her today about this stuff if she wanted. She told me she was at Debbie's house, that Kathy was going to charge her $20 a day to stay there. And your ex tells him her lies are catching up with her. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> at a minimum, there's a prior, what we call in the law a prior consistent statement on his part, way back on December 10th, complaining that you are not taking care of the dog, that he's being forced to go over there, and that you came once to That's get stuff. That's not true, Your Honor. I love my dog, and you know what Mike told me to do with my dog? He had me in his truck giving me a ride, and he told me I need to take that dog and drop it off on a farm road. So that's why I Tell honestly- Tell me why it is that you would be there and take only two boxes and yet leave $450 worth of jewelry, which you could just put on your person. But why, Your Honor? Because when I got there, Every single thing, every every piece of furniture I had was already broken up in a dump. Matter of fact, when I was I was inside the dumpster, it was raining out. I was on top of all my stuff, <laughs> trying to dig out pictures and dig out stuff. I started absolutely bawling. Why? If you, came, these, if you came across pictures, why didn't you just save that? I didn't one? see no pictures in there. We did. <laughs> you did. We put them in the back of that pickup truck. Oh, no. so she's lying about in. the pictures. No, that is not true. Yes, so, it is who, true. You know what, Larry? Well, how about him? Is he a witness to? Um, he what's was a he dog? He was he found the dog. Home. He found the home. I had dog. boxes and boxes of pictures. Tell me about the dog. So if somebody isn't caring for their dog, not feeding it properly, taking care of it, can you treat it as abandoned and take it? No, you can't treat it as abandoned, but you can report it and then possibly adopt it. Fair point, but if you really think the dog's in dire shape, are you allowed to just take somebody's dog? No, I, I don't think so. I think you should probably uh, report it or something, like what she okay, said. Reporting. Uh, report or take? I say take. Because? Because if you think that the dog isn't taken care of and if you think that it's in danger somehow, I say take it. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. Mr. Wilburn had uh, contacted me about with the dog. He says that he's been feeding the dog, uh, giving the dog water. And I says, okay, I says, you know, since they're not wanting to come pick it up, I said, I'll try to get a hold of animal control to see if maybe they have room for the dog. And ended up, I called animal control. They says that their facility was full. So I ended up. Why would all this be happening if you were taking good care of the dog and if you hadn't abandoned the place? Because he wanted me to get rid of the dog, right? And I couldn't bring it to where I was staying. Why the? You know what, Miss Quinn? I got to tell you something. I, I, I'm not buying the stuff that you're saying. I, I find that you abandoned all that stuff and he had a right to get rid of it. You have uh, a counterclaim against her for six grand, but you just got a house for 3,900 and something. How can you claim that you're out anything? What's the value of that house? Probably about it. Three thousand dollars because it was tore up and. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, because I got. I don't a believe land. you. It's you know just a land. You're gonna tell oh, me that the land. land? Well, oh, oh, the land. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Probably about forty. Right. So how can you tell me you're out anything when for three thousand nine hundred dollars you had the bonanza of the century because they're they're this big a screw up where they can't in all that time figure it out. They can't come up with $300. They can come up with vodka money, but they can't come up with $300 to pay you and then get a house back, okay? And, and he's not even sore. He's like, God bless you. You got a house for $3,900. God bless you. And, and he keeps telling you, thanks so much for finding a good home for Doobie. Doobie. It is Doby? Yeah. Okay, well, he spells it Doby, <laughs> just so that you all know. All right, you're forgetting a, a, a good home for him. I'm so glad I miss him so much and all the other stuff. He's not even bitter. But how can you say you're out additional monies when you made forty? You know, you made thirty-seven thousand okay. dollars on your counterclaim zero. Also, good luck, folks. Boy, what a mess! So uh, everybody comes out with nothing here. Right here, uh, what, what's going through your mind here coming out of the court? Nothing. It just wasn't right that somebody could take advantage of somebody like that. But you know what? God will prevail. What in do you this think, one. your old? Buddy now, your old neighbor now. I don't like him. 
Eh, she doesn't like you. Yeah. That's what she said. She so what's like what you, you got nothing on your, pardon me? She doesn't like anybody. No? no. What about you? How are you? I How'd just, this happen? I just wouldn't help her no more. Anyone ever told you you look like Ned Flanders from The Simpsons? No. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Kurt, uh, you know, in this case, she abandoned the dog, so there's no question. You should know that if an animal is not abandoned, you cannot take it. You can't, even if it feels like it's a humane thing to do, you're just not allowed to do it. You have to call animal control and make sure they handle the situation. That will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.